Okay, hi everybody. So in this video here, we're going to solve the following trigonometric equation on the domain 0 to 2 pi. And the equation is the cosine of x minus the sine of x is equal to 0. I really like this question. Um, I have kind of a weird memory of this question. Somebody asked this uh, once in, in a class when I was just at the very beginning of my teaching career. I said, no problem, I'll, I'll throw it on the board and I'll, I'll do it. And I threw it on there and I looked at it and I looked at it and I looked at it and I... I got stumped. I didn't have the foggiest idea what to do because I was expecting, I was expecting this to be a certain style of question. And it just wasn't the one I was expecting here. I was looking for some identities that I could pull out here, some weird things that I could do to it. It turns out this question is so much simpler, but I was a little embarrassed because the students could recognize that I was stumbling a little bit. Eventually I did catch it here, but this one is not obvious, but as soon as I show it to you, as soon as you see it, you'll you'll recognize it and you'll you'll know what to do. The real trick to this is to simply separate these two expressions here and then divide both sides by cosine. Now, the reason why I want to divide by cosine is because as soon as I do that, you should recognize, oh my gosh, there it is. Sine of x divided by the tan uh, cosine of x is the tangent of x. Oh, there we go. And so now I have this equation here, tangent of x is equal to one. Well, tangent is positive in quadrants one and three. Okay, now we want to find the reference angle here. So alpha is going to be the inverse tangent of one. And in radians here, and we're expecting you to, to have this sort of memorized here, and you can memorize it any way you want, really. But that's going to end up being pi over four. So my reference angle is pi over four. So this angle here is pi over four. And so is this angle right here, pi over 4, which means the answers that I'm looking for in the first quadrant will be pi over 4 for sure. But what that means is remember that pi over 4 means I'm chopping pi up into quarters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and I've got one more quarter to get me into the third quadrant. So that's 5 pi over 4, and those are the two answers that we're looking for. This is a really, really good question.